You got all that? That was good. What's that, the high school musical? Where they go like, Welcome back to Chef Sawyer Sunday. I'm Chef Sawyer, also known as Sexy Sawyer. And today, we have a very special video because we're making some pumpkin hot chocolate. Tis the season. All you're gonna need, some canned pumpkin, some pumpkin spice, AKA nutmeg, cinnamon, and cloves. I have a little bit of 60% cacao, bittersweet chocolate here, very high quality stuff. And just some sugar, some cocoa powder, some milk, and some water. Super simple, let's throw it all together and get cooking. We have a nice thick bottom sauce pot here and I'm gonna put that on a medium to low heat and now it's just time to add all the ingredients. In the pot we have three cups of milk and three cups of water and here I have two cups of white sugar. I'm just gonna pour that in and mix it up and let the heat start to melt the sugar. And now it's time to add everything else. Half a cup of cocoa powder. Here I have one cup of canned pumpkin puree going right in. That's what's so great about this recipe. It's delicious. You can serve it anytime the weather is cold. It's super simple to throw together. Put everything into a pan, cook it for a couple minutes, done. Here I have a quarter cup of some 60% bittersweet chocolate chips. That's gonna add a real nice depth and sophistication. It takes your regular package hot chocolate and it just elevates it to the next level. It's rich, it's sweet, it's all around deliciousness. Next we're gonna season it and pumpkin spice just consists of cloves, nutmeg, and cinnamon. And they're all gonna go in just a little pinch of each of them. These are all very strong and you don't need a whole lot to go a long way. You probably want to add a little bit more cinnamon than the other ones though. So I just threw a little pinch in and I'll come back with slightly more cinnamon. Also, everything needs salt. Even when you're baking, even when you're making something sweet, a little pinch of salt will help bring out the flavors more. And just a splash of vanilla extract for some goody goodness. Take your whisk, make sure everything's nice and well incorporated, and just make sure you're melting all your sugar granules and all of your Cocoa powder is getting incorporated, no dry spots. I turn the heat up. I'm just gonna go ahead and bring it to a boil as I stir, and then we're gonna taste it. Just give it one final taste and adjust for seasoning, and then we're done. And now, it's time to plate up, people. We got our nice pumpkin hot chocolate. Bring it right into your favorite mug you got at home. All right. We leave a little bit of space at the top, because nothing accompanies hot chocolate better than mini marshmallows. Boom, in. Whipped cream, give it a few good shakes. Swirl. Cinnamon, a light gentle dusting on top. And would you look at that? That is the holiday hot chocolate spectacular. Mm-mm, good. Oh my gosh, that is so good. You have to try this. All right, viewers of all ages, Chef Sawyer fans from near and far, this is probably my easiest video to make. Super delicious, super simple, but it's very rich and delicious. You don't need a whole big glass of it. A little bit will do you just fine, but it impresses everybody. Tis the season. Thank you for coming back to support Chef Sawyer Sunday week after week. I appreciate each and every one of you and have a great holiday season. I'll see you guys next week. Mm.